It's a good thing Ponce de Leon never discovered the Fountain of Youth because it turns out it might just be the blood of young people. And QAnon's gonna have a fucking field day with this weird science fact that boggles my mind. If there's been one consistent desire for humans throughout history, it's that we've always been searching for a way to outfox Father Time. Our incessant yearning for youth is unyielding. And from anti-aging creams to exercise machines, from supplements to surgery, there is no lengths we won't go to to turn back the clock. So researchers spend a lot of time on the top. And while people are now living longer than at any point in history, we haven't found a tried and true way to turn back time. But that may be changing, and young blood might be taking on a whole new meaning. A number of studies from all over the world have taken very different approaches to all come to the same conclusion, and that's that you're not so much young at heart, but you are young at what your heart pumps. One way they discovered this was by hooking a young mouse's circulatory system up to an older mouse's circulatory system and have them share a bloodstream for a while. And the old mouse started going through a reverse aging process and the young mouse started aging more rapidly. It's literally like that shit from The Mummy or any other creepy movie where somebody sucks the life out of somebody else to reverse their aging process. It's a real thing! Now, as we all know from Obama's hair, stress accelerates aging. But if you have enough time to recover after stressful or traumatic events, your body's aging process will decelerate. And it turned out that once the younger mouse no longer had the stress of the older mouse's bloodstream, it too reversed its aging process back to where it was supposed to be and recovered. Obviously, hooking yourself to grandma so she can suck out your life force is not an ideal way to deal with aging. Apparently, transfusions might work as well. Another group of scientists gave 22-month-old mice, which would be the equivalent of a 70-year-old person, transfusion of platelet factor 4, or PF4. It's a type of plasma, as I understand it. And it reversed their brain's biological age to half of its chronological age. It made the mice's brains younger and smarter. It's just it's straight up flowers for Algernon shit. We're literally living long enough to see science fiction just become science. Other mice infused with young blood had more energy, higher metabolisms, more resilient muscle tissue, and more flexible brains. And another group of scientists is like, what if we just engineer blood to fight the effects of aging? See, our body is just constantly replacing damaged and dying cells. They die all of the time, and every few years, basically, we're a whole new person. But as we get older, our cells don't do that as well, and a lot of times, damaged cells just stick around and aren't replaced by better cells. So a group of scientists engineered T cells, which are white blood cells, are part of our immune system that attack stuff that's not supposed to be in our body. They developed a therapy called Shimmeric Antigen Receptor T-Cell Therapy. Basically just engineer the T-cells into little terminators that go and seek and destroy all of the cells that you don't like. Which makes it useful as a potential cancer treatment, but it's also being researched to possibly go out and seek and destroy all of those damaged cells associated with aging. And the research has shown that removing those damaged cells actually slows down or reverses the aging process as well. So it would seem that the secret to eternal youth is found within... The, the youth. And with any luck, this new discovery will allow boomers to continue ruining the world for like centuries to come. The fact that our aspirations to attain anti-aging abilities could be accomplished with the accommodating arteries of a young adult, well, that is pretty mind-boggling.